Today we're gonna take a look at some amazing tutorials from the Blender community. They range from modeling, texturing, geometry nodes, visual effects, and more. Before we start, I wanted to let you guys know that the Blender market is having now a huge sale. So if you want to get the best add-ons and assets that you want to put your hands on at a lower price, this is your chance to do so. Also in the description of this video, you will find a list of the best add-ons available on the market. We are kicking this video with Bad Normals on YouTube. They uploaded a tutorial on how to create a hologram effect in Blender. A hologram is a tight projection usually three-dimensional, similar to the effects seen in sci-fi movies like Star Wars or Blade Runner. The way you achieve this effect is through the shader editor by manipulating the texture UV coordinates and stretching them along one axis. You can replicate the effect of rays being generated from one point to another. So, you will first create the rays and then adjust their brightness, any stripes and distortion to the hologram. Becky 3D also released a video on how to use the new volume cube in Blender 3.3, which allows you to create abstract art in Blender by creating a specific geometry node setup using a texture map on the density value of the volume cube, thus allowing you to create some interesting results. You can also stack these textures on top of each other to produce even more detailed results. We also have a couple of tutorials from Ryan King Art on YouTube. The first one is a multi-part series modeling tutorial all about how to create a sci-fi corridor or passage in Blender. In part 1, you're gonna block out and model most of the scene. In the second part, you will finish modeling the back wall of the passageway and set the composition by adding a camera. Finally, in part 3, you're gonna apply materials, set up the lighting and render the final result. Another great tutorial from Ryan is this fully procedural coral rock material guide. In the video, you will be seeing a step-by-step -step workflow on how to build a procedural rock material in Blender solely through the shader editor. And you're gonna do this by using a combination of Voronoi and noise textures. And leveraging the power of adaptive subdivision in Blender, you can create extremely realistic results. The node setup is fairly simple. And Ryan hones in on each detail and explains the logic behind every node. So this allows you to repurpose this for any number of different materials. But if rocks aren't your jam, you may want to create your own pickle rig. In this video, you will see how to create a procedural pickle material. It is very similar to the rock materials with a lot of emphasis on masking. You might be thinking, if I watched one procedural material tutorial, I've seen them all. But there is always stuff to learn with new materials. And Ryan is a great instructor, so if you want to get inspired and learn how to create some materials procedurally, definitely check this out. If you want to learn how to create cloth simulation in Blender, Fado Tutorials uploaded a video on how to create this cloth simulation. The workflow is very simple. You will first animate the ball and create the cloth falling simulation. After that, you will be tweaking some of the cloth parameters to prevent collision and so on and so forth. At the end, you will be applying some materials and rendering the final result. This next one is from Riscan on YouTube, and it is all about ArcViz and interior design as you learn how to create this cozy IKEA style living room in Blender. You will be creating the scene from start to finish. You will see a lot of interesting tips and tricks about lighting and shading techniques. First, you will start by blocking out the scene and making sure to get all the measurements right using the primitive shapes. Next, you will set up the cameras and lighting. After that, you will zoom on each one of the elements in the scene and see how you can model it in the fastest way possible. Things like the couch, pillow, carpet, bookshelf, cloth and so on. Next, you will see how to apply materials in your scene and render the final image. Also, you will see some post-processing in Photoshop. The next one is really an awesome tutorial and it really deserves more views. Alexander uploaded a tutorial on how to fully UV unwrap a deck of cards by using the UV offset value of the array modifier. This allows you to create the whole deck with one UV map. All you need is an image of all the cards in a grid to extract all the textures. In this hard surface modeling tutorial from Blender Bros, you will learn how to model the sci-fi doorway or entrance to a futuristic building. 
This is simple yet represents a lot of useful techniques. As usual, you will start by blocking out the scene and getting all your measurements and proportions right. A lot of people, especially beginners, overlook this step. It is all about getting a feel for the scene before diving and starting adding details. After that, you will be using hard ops to model each segment of the doorway and adding details gradually. And everything is really well explained. The latest release of Blender 3.3 Alpha introduced the long-awaited UV unwrapping the geometry nodes, which is exciting because now you can generate your UVs procedurally. In this tutorial by the Intagma YouTube channel, you're gonna learn the full process of how to create a geometry node setup that you can use procedurally to unwrap any number of objects. Throughout this video, you will first build a procedural rock generator, which you can later use to apply the UV generator. The things you learn here can also be easily applied to any model or shape. And thinking about the deck of cards tutorial, I think this can be extremely useful in those situations. Next up, we have some geometry nodes action from Red Jam YouTube channel. If you want to create seamless animation loops with geometry nodes, this tutorial will show you how to create an offset style animation that seamlessly loops a series of extrudes. With this method, you will learn how you can easily apply anything you want, so you can use this for rotating, moving, or scaling objects, and it can prove extremely helpful, for example in motion graphics settings. Next, we have a great short animation breakdown by Decoded. This time, it is a creation process of recreating the scene from The Empire Strikes Back, where you delish the X-Wing out of the swamp, and how he did all that in less than a week. Usually Decoded shows the finished animation first and then talks about his process. This time it is more of a vlog style where he takes you through the whole process of how he created each character and model and how he overcame some of the problems and how you can maximize your output in a tight deadline. Throughout the video, you will take a look at a plethora of different topics such as modeling, animation, texturing, simulation and so on. And although this is less of a tutorial and more of a breakdown, it is always useful to see how things get done. In this tutorial, you're gonna learn how to create a realistic explosion in Blender. This tutorial will guide you through the process of creating this highly detailed fire explosion all inside Blender, without using any external tools or add-ons. This is great if you wanna get started with smoke and fire simulations. You're gonna learn how to create an animated smoke emitter and understand all the settings related to smoke and fire simulation, as well as creating a simple shader to make all the smoke and fire details stand out in the great final render. Talking about rendering, you can learn 5 tips to help you render your projects faster with Blender Cycles. Kaizen Tutorials uploaded a video highlighting some tips and tricks to improve your render speed in Cycles. He will go through some obvious things like hardware and how to set up your GPU to work with cycles, as well as go into some render settings like noise threshold and why it is important to understand it. You will also see how you can adjust light paths, performance settings, world settings, global illumination, and much more. Also, Intuvert on YouTube released a multi-part tutorial series and a step-by-step -step guide on how to exactly model an iconic shield from Diablo 2 in Blender and texture it in Substance Painter. The series is divided into three parts. The first one is all about setting up references and modeling. And by modeling the model from the ground up, you will see how to add details to your model using the sculpt mode. In the second part, you will hammer down some of the sculpting techniques and how to make the most out of Blender sculpting tools in addition to UV unwrapping all your objects. By the end of part 2, you should have the high poly and the low poly meshes ready for texturing. In part 3, you're gonna texture your model in Substance Painter and export your textures to Blender. If you are interested in these tutorials, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.